everyone wants to know the cost of living in Puerto Rico. That's kind of hard. It's like asking you, what's the cost of living in your state? So I'm going to break it down for my neighborhood in Palmas del Mar. When we first came to Puerto Rico, we spent about two weeks driving around the entire island. We looked at a number of different neighborhoods and our criteria was uh, close access to the San Juan airport, beach access, affordability, good telecom, and a nice sense of community in the neighborhood. We didn't consider Cabo Rojo or Rincon just because of the, the distance to the airport. Some of the areas that we considered were Metro San Juan area, Condado, Isla Verde, Ocean Park. We drove all the way out to Loquillo and Fajardo, Ceiba, and eventually we found our way down to Umacao in the neighborhood of Palmas del Mar Resort Community. Palmas del Mar is a resort community. It's got a few thousand households in it. We've got a grocery store, a plaza, multiple restaurants, and a real sense of community in our neighborhood. We have multiple golf courses and the largest tennis center in the Caribbean. There are 20 mixed surface tennis courts. Many were resurfaced in the last two years due to damage from Hurricane Maria. The Conis Tennis Pro team now run the Tennis Academy, offering group and private lessons. The Tennis Center is part of the Palmas Athletic Club for tennis, golf, and club activity. The Palmas Academy is a private English school with approximately 600 students ranging from pre-kindergarten up to 12th grade. Students can spend their entire academic career here at the academy, including high school graduation. This is one of two churches located within the community. Palmas del Mar has its own water service, so we pay about $90 a month for water, sewage, and trash. Here is our local water treatment plant. It's actually located on Palmas del Mar property. Up this road is the water storage tanks that supply Palmas del Mar. Our internet is around $90 a month for Liberty Cable. We also have a satellite internet backup with HughesNet that's around $100 a month, but there are plans that start as low as $50. Our electrical costs are about 23 cents per kilowatt hour. We end up spending about $230 a month for a family of two to power all of our electricity. We don't have central air conditioning. We have split air conditioning units, which we really only run at night and during the heat of the day. But with weather this beautiful, you really don't need to use much electricity. Before we look at rental properties in Puerto Rico, it's important to know the difference between furnished and unfurnished. It's not a simple matter of no furniture in the house. A lot of the unfurnished homes don't have refrigerators. Some don't have stoves they really are more unfinished. Dishwashers and water heaters are not standard in Puerto Rico. Our current home is completely furnished. We have washer, dryer, hot water heater, stove, refrigerator, and all of the furniture in the house, including dining room tables and chairs, beds and tables. We have a dishwasher and a whole house backup generator complete with transfer switch. We even have a two car garage as opposed to a carport. Our local realtors are happy to show us some typical rental properties. Our first stop is Palmanova Plaza to meet up with a few realtors who provide tours and pricing. If you aren't quite ready to meet with a realtor, go ahead and swing by the plaza to check out current listings on several of their office windows. For simplicity's sake, we are going to limit this comparison to three bedroom equipped housing accommodations based on a 12 month rental. This can vary between $1,000 to $5,000 or more per month, depending on location within Palmas, the view, amenities, square footage, floor plan, the duration of lease, and a number of other factors. Let's go take a look at some of these homes for rent. This kitchen is fully equipped with dishwasher, stove, microwave, and refrigerator. It's currently undergoing a minor remodel and repair from Hurricane Maria, including new doors and many new windows. This property comes with a backup generator on transfer switch and when furnished will rent between $2,500 to $3,000 per month for an annual lease. 
As we walk upstairs, here are the separate laundry room, guest rooms, and the master suite is on the top floor along with this rooftop patio. Many houses in Palmas enjoy the spectacular view of the Caribbean Sea. The houses below are a much larger floor plan than the three bedroom we're currently touring. The back side of this house enjoys this lush tropical view. If you want to minimize stairs, this three bedroom is on a one single level. The washer and dryer are located in the hall closet, which leads to each of the three bedrooms. These condos are independently owned, so the furnishing and decorations are up to the homeowner. This particular condo is available in a single floor plan or split two-story floor plan, and they all rent for about $2,000 a month for an annual lease. This gorgeous ocean view is visible from the master bedroom, kitchen, living room area, and balcony. As you can see, this condo is move-in ready. The highlight of this condo is the amazing balcony with views of Vieques Island directly ahead. Views north over to El Yonque Rainforest, a bird's eye view of Palmas and the tennis courts, and then all the way over on the right, a view of Palmanova Plaza. The majority of single level three bedroom housing options are condos. The houses tend to be multiple levels and many are much larger than three bedrooms. Overlooking this is the golf course. This is the beauty of this. And you, you hear the birds? As soon as you enter, you hear the birds. You don't hear sounds of cars. The highway's right here, but it's, it's a buffer. Located on the north side of the golf course, these condos are a much newer build with all new appliances. The newer builds tend to follow an open floor plan and many of the older builds have a much more closed in floor plan and architectural style. All of the structures in Palmas are built with storm-proof concrete and are very safe in case of a tropical storm or hurricane. The newer builds also have larger closets and larger guest bedrooms. This master bedroom has a full walk-in closet. And the master bathroom has both a pap tub and a shower, as well as toilet and bidet. Bidets are very common in Puerto Rico housing. These owners decorate with martini glasses and a mountain bike for use. A condo on the golf course like this rents for about $2,200 a month. Most condos have a swimming pool and clubhouse. And since we live in the Caribbean, swimming season is year round. Up these stairs, the majority of these condos are two bedroom, two bath on one floor. Today, we're touring the penthouse model, which is a three bedroom split on two floors. The two bedroom option is the exact same floor plan, including this kitchen layout. Each condo has a similar terrace overlooking the interior ponds and pools. Down the short hall are two bathrooms complete with bidet and two full-size bedrooms. Mm -hmm. 
the master bedroom has another terrace patio. The penthouse bedroom directly above has a front terrace view out to El Yonke, attached bathroom, and a wide back terrace. This penthouse area is accessed from an interior staircase. At the top of that staircase is a mini kitchenette and leads out to the full sun terrace. This amazing three bedroom penthouse with main kitchen, kitchenette, and sun terrace rents for about $1,800 a month. Now for a quick lightning round of three bedroom properties. This multi-level three bedroom in Aquabea also rent for about $1,800 a month. There are some really good bargains in the village of Villafranca. One-story standalone homes like these rent between $1 to $2,000 a month. Another bargain neighborhood is located along Monaco and Monte Carlo streets. These homes typically have pools and ocean views and can rent between $1,500 to $2,200 a month. Each of these condos in La Jolla have a great ocean view. As an older build complex, the big difference in price tends to be when it was remodeled and the rental prices can vary between $1,200 a month or more than $2,000 a month. This 2,500 square foot garden style condo rents for $2,000 a month and the unique feature is this impressive garden terrace overlooking the pond and picturesque bridge. Palmas del Mar is a resort community and it is therefore more expensive than most other communities around the island. Outside of the resort property, housing prices can drop in half. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. For more videos on living and exploring Puerto Rico, be sure to like and subscribe.